Ginger. I am here with an unboxing, a double unboxing. It is time for the retro pop boxes. And I have the 70s box and the 80s box. So we're going to open the 70s box first. It is extra large this month. It says, can you, whoo, can you dig it? It's not filled all the way up to the top though. It's the only thing. You got to lift this whole thing up to get the uh, card out. So it has a card with everything that's in the box. This is the January box. So let's open it up. Let's see what they have. The exclusive t-shirt. Oh, it's orange. Mm -hmm. Look like a like a piece of caution tape or something okay okay this is from it says here it's from Monty Python and the Holy Grail which I've never seen exclusive t-shirt and Saint Attila raised the hand grenade up on high and said oh Lord bless this thy hand grenade that with it thou mayest blow thine enemies to tiny bits in thy mercy and the lord did grin and the people did feast upon lambs and sloths and carp and anchovies and orangutans and breakfast cereal and fruit bats and large chews okay i've here's what it looks like I have never seen this movie, so the humor goes the humor goes over my head. All right. Oh, look at this. This is fun dip in razzle apple. Look at that. I remember getting these when I was a kid. It's got the. Uh, the stick that's made out of like sweet tart and then this is like a tangy powder that you you lick it and you dip it in there cute all right the next item well let's see what it says about this lick a made fun dip the greatest thing that happened in the 70s question mark <laughs> lick an aid added the lick a stick and fun dip was born dip it taste it wow all right. The next item is <laughs> this is pretty cool. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> this is taxi driver action figure. Taxi driver reaction figure. You talking to me? You talking to me? You talking to me? <laughs> then who the hell else are you talking? You talking to me? Well, I'm the only one here. That's pretty funny. Let me take this. It has a sticker on it. No, this is from Funko. On the back it says it's from Funko. Okay, it says Retro Pop Box Facts. Yet another amazing film that almost wasn't. Due to an extremely tight budget, all the actors took significant pay cuts. De Niro who was being offered $500,000 for other films agreed to a $35,000 paycheck. The streets of New York provided the lighting. No additional lighting was brought in. And all the cab scenes were filmed inside a real cab with Scorsese. The cinematographer and the cameraman all crouched in the back and the poor sound guy in the trunk. While De Niro drove through the streets of New York, the lead character's apartments were built in a condemned building that was set to be destroyed before filming was complete. They even had to hire a gang to protect them from other gangs. Funny. I wish they hadn't stuck this sticker on here. That kind of blows. I can't get the sticker off. So that's kind of cool. Uh -huh. Alright. Oh. It's a sticker. Look at this. It's a sticker of a Polaroid. Polaroid camera. Uh -huh. It says here, Walls 360 Wall Graphics. Like what you see, retro pop boxers get an extra 20% discount on all Caleb 
Gray Studio Premium Repostable Wall Graphics with the coupon code RPB20 at walls360.com slash dash Caleb Gray Studio expires 2 2017. <laughs> it's a Polaroid camera. I remember having one of these. Very awesome. It's vinyl. All right. The last item is Mr. Men Little Miss Mad Libs. I'll have to give this to uh, my friend who's a teacher. I gave her the Mad Libs that they gave us last Thanksgiving. It was Thanksgiving themed. I'll have to give her this one because I have no use for Mad Libs. But she's a third grade teacher, so she said she could use the Mad Libs for her students. Um, it says, because we all have a Mr. Chatterbox and Little Miss Bossy in our lives. Very cute. All right, so that's everything in the 70s box, which is a lot slimmer than what I suspected when I opened up the box, because this box is pretty big and deep. Oh, well. All right, let's open the 80s box. This is the 80s box. When you open it up, it has the paper inside that says, to the max. Again, lift the whole thing up to get the card out. And this card has everything that's inside here. Let's see what our exclusive t-shirt is. I'm excited. Ooh, it's black. Yay. All right. I love it when a plan comes together. I think this is uh, a team. Yeah. It's an A-team t-shirt. Oh, that's pretty cool. Am I getting it in the frame? Yeah. And there's the van. The van. Very cute. Okay, it says here. I'm sorry. They made the writing really small on this one. In 1972, a crack commando unit was set was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. These men promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the Los Angeles Underground. Today, still wanted by the government, they survive as soldiers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Team. <laughs> I loved that show when I was a kid. Alright, so that's pretty awesome. I like that t-shirt a lot. The next item, interesting. Look, it's Nerds Lip Balm. My hair is all crazy now. Okay. When asked how nerds are made, basically we start off with sugar crystals and we just keep coating it with more sugar. The 80s were a wonderful time to be alive. Interesting. This is grape flavored. Let's see what it smells like. Oop. It smells sort of grape-ish. Sort of grape-ish. Alright, the next item. Oh, yes. I love Pez, first of all. This is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Pez Dispenser. Look at that. Look at that. So cute. And I, I was never in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so I don't know which dude this is. Okay. It says here, wise men say forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. <laughs> That's cute. All right. Next item is Wacky Wally. Oh, I remember these. These, you'd throw these against the wall and then they would crawl down the wall says here, Wacky Wally Wall Crawler. It was all fun and games until the Wacky Wall Crawler hit the carpet. Yeah, and then it'd be all funky. <laughs> That's cute. In neon green. Alright. I wonder if it glows in the dark. What does it say? Oh, it has a fun fact here on the back. Ken Akuda 
was sent a few sticky octopus-like toys from his mother who lived in Japan. Even though they were for his kids, he was obsessed and purchased the product rights for $5,000. He originally sold them locally in Washington, D.C., with little success until the Washington Post wrote a feature story on them. Over the next several months, more media outlets ran stories about the wacky wall walker. And the rest is history. Eighty million dollars of history. Cute. Alright, the last item is another vinyl. So this is going to have the same description as the other one, but this time it's a tape. It's an audio tape. So, that's pretty cool. Alright, so that is everything for the retro pop boxes for January, the 70s box and the 80s box. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoy these unboxings. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you can come back and sit for a spell and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.